Hey guys, Annie here. I just wanted to pop by really quick and do a how-to tutorial for pacifier clips, um, the silicone beaded ones, and teething toys, also silicone beaded ones. Uh, I do wanna say disclaimer, if you plan to sell these, please get them safety tested uh, in a lab to just ensure that they do meet the safety uh, requirements because they are made of, as you can tell, small little beads, so it is a choking hazard. It's for your own kids. Again, don't take my word for it. Um, use it at your own discretion. I just wanna do a quick how-to um, because of this way that I found that I think will help a lot of people trying to make these clips and to make them in a way where they're not gonna rip. Um, at least none have ripped on me with these two ways that I have made the clip and the toy so follow along so first step is we are getting a regular paper clip um, and you are opening it up and basically you are gonna have to squish this paper clip um, I had my husband help me he used pliers and you're going to have to pretty much as thin as you can get it squish the paper clip um, to get it to look like this. Here's what I learned from trial and error. You want a paper clip that is coated in a color because if, it, if it's just your standard um, silver paper clip, it will leave a, um, like a black mark on your cord of your pacifier clip that you're making. And uh, that's not fun because it does not look very pretty, nor do you want your um, that going in your kid's mouth. Okay, so next thing I have my cord and I, I can link to where I got it. I think I bought this on Amazon. So for the pacifier clip, this is what I do. Um, I usually have my tape measure and I would measure uh, certain sizes depending on the length of the clips I wanted. Now I did that when I would sell them because you have to stay consistent, obviously. When I'm making one for my kids, I just, um, you know, you kind of see how long a pacifier clip, add that little loop at the end, it'll be about there. So that'll be probably about the beaded part. Plus or minus, I add a little bit more um, for the knot that we're gonna create. And then I'll cut this frilly part off. And I just have about, I don't even know what that is, but just roughly, like, like I said, I don't measure because it's, I'm doing it for myself. So then what I do next is I use a lighter and I just kind of melt these tips a little bit. Be careful, it is hot. So here's how I tie the clip. So you just tie your standard um, beginning of a knot, right? If I'll do that again. You just put the two strings together, cross them over, and just pull that one under. Your standard beginning of a knot. It's tied, your standard knot. You just kind of push this like this. It creates basically a tunnel. So I forgot the name of this knot, but it is a specific knot um, that I looked up. So. I'm um, trying to get a little closer so you guys can see this, but basically you created that uh, tunnel. Make sure you have like a good amount of extra string there. So you create that tunnel and then you get this string and loop it into there. Like make it go through the tunnel, if you can see that. So I'm pushing it through in here. There it is, right there, it came out. So it's right there, that little um, string that I pushed through, so I made that, right? So now this moves around. Where I got this concept from is, if you know those friendship bracelets that like you can loosen or tighten, like remember those back in, I don't know, middle school, where you'd pull on it and it'd get smaller? We're not done there yet, so. And don't tighten it too tight because we are going to fix it. We don't want this much string hanging out. We're going to make it a lot more tighter. So you get this part, pull it through, make it whatever more. Get it and go under, okay? And over and under again to make that same tunnel that we had on this side. So we have a tunnel 
Now we made another tunnel twice. So you have two loops like this. You have your knot you already tied and then you have another loop here. So you get the string and you push it through that tunnel, that side. So I did the same thing on both sides. So now I have basically two of the same exact knots, right? So now what we do is I said leave it loose because what we're gonna do is um, get as least string right here as possible. So push, try to kind of scoot your knot, kind of pull in the string a little bit, basically to make it like that, like just a little bit, right? So that side's good, I'm pushing the two together. Now I don't want this much here, so kind of see pulling it through um, and then tightening it, pulling this. That's good, so kind of tighten it. Um, and so I have basically two knots. Okay, two knots where the little ends sticking out are not, you know, two inches long. So when you have like this roughly, what you do is you just pull. Pull with all your might. I usually wrap around my two fingers, well, four technically and I give it such a pull, like just as much as you possibly can. Basically what I did was I created two double knots that when you pull, because I am pulling to tighten it, when you pull, you are literally tightening the knot, so there's kind of no way for this to rip. So what I do first is there's that little tip that um, I left out, why I said leave it very small, here's why. You don't wanna have to be burning two inches of cord. So you get it, you melt it just a little, and you tap on it. And basically what that does is I just seal the knot, right? So other side, also why I wear this, because touching that is gonna burn you. Melt it, tap it in, so I sealed the knot on both sides, as you can see. This thing is pretty much not gonna break or rip. So that's what it looks like. Okay, this is the beginning of our pacifier clip, really secure. And here's how you make the pacifier clip. That This is where we are going to need our paper clip. So what we're gonna do is you take your string, you want um, the knot to be like somewhere about here. That's what, um, well, anyway, towards the top, because you're gonna hide it in a bead, towards the top, your clip's gonna be here, your end of your pacifier is gonna be like that. So, leave the knot towards the top, and here's what you do. You get your pacifier clip, right? You put it, loop it, sorry, going forward in. Reason being, um, it creates a cleaner, I'll show you, hold on, I'll just, I'll do it, it's not that hard. So, if you go, forward in with your string, here's what it looks like, okay? When you loop it through, like this. Whereas if you went backwards in, it would look like this. Okay, so this compared to this. So we have our clip. Our knot is somewhere about there. It doesn't really matter because you are gonna move it anyway. So this is where what we do. You get your first bead which this is a 19 millimeter bead compared to a 15 millimeter bead. Not that big of a difference. This is what you kind of want to start with just because our knot is pretty big. So I hide it in a 19 millimeter bead instead of a 15 millimeter bead, which would kind of have like a slight lump. You can still do it, but that's just um, what I like to do. What I'm doing, is I pick the string that does not have the knot on it, right? So we split it apart. I pick this one, I put it through the paper clip, okay? Like this. So I just put it into the paper clip. And then what we do is we get that, this, and we go through the bead. So I'm going through the bead, okay? Stuck it through. And now this actually gives me grip to pull it through. If you don't have these, it'll be harder. Then what we do is we pull on the string. This string, if I pull on it, nothing happens, right? So pull on the string that is actually 
taking this, the remaining string, and it's pulling it through the bead, then you're gonna get to the knot, okay? You can take this off. I don't, I try to leave this off as much as possible. It's up to you, but anyway. So you got to the knot, right? And then, again, this helps with um, not hurting your finger so much. This finger is getting used a lot in making the pacifier clip, if you can tell. So try to protect it. Anyway, what I do is grab both and I pull the knot into the bead. Now this might take like some strength, I'm telling you, but you have to get that knot to go inside the bead and it is possible, okay? Here you go. The knot is in the bead. You might think you're gonna rip it, you're not gonna rip it. And if you would rip it and it's not a clip you wanna give to your kids, so pull on it as hard as you can. Now, obviously we need this bead to be up here, right? So what I do is you get this part right here, grab it, make it loose so the bead is touching the clip and pull the string that does not have the knot on it, okay? When you're pulling, if you pull the string with the knot, the knot will come out. So pull the string that doesn't have the knot on it. Okay, almost there. I'm almost there, you just keep pulling. So if I pull that string that doesn't have the knot, tightens, make it loose again, pull it again. Okay, there, I got my bead up to the top. This is the top of my clip. Again, let me show you the difference. That would have been the top if I went backwards in. This, I feel like, looks just a lot better. Anyway, that's the top, okay? So now we have our the beginning of our clip. So here's what you do. You get that um, paper clip, which, oh, it's right here. And then again, now it doesn't matter which string you pick, the knot is already in there. I just get one of my strings, put the clip on, and just do your pattern of your bead. So here's what I'm gonna do. So we have this, right? Literally to finish it, this is all I do. You just tie it up, both of the strings, slip it through, and before tightening your knot, push it all the way down, all the way down, which I could take off the finger thing for this. Um, you wanna get it as like laying on your bead like this as close as possible okay so I have it like this right now just laying there and now what I do is I open up the two strings and I just pull so you pull I'm pulling them apart see I'm pulling them apart when I do that I tighten the knot pretty much as much as you can so what I did was this pull it apart and that tightens the knot that's how I make my clips i there's you know like i said i really want to make sure they don't rip was worried because you know i was selling them so that's how i do it um let me know if you guys have any questions um or any suggestions i guess i'm not doing them anymore for business um just because i'm doing something else now actually selling houses real estate agents so if you guys have anything you want to buy i'm kidding but anyway, so I'm not doing this anymore. Um, I do do it still for my little ones. I'll make clips all the time because clips are amazing. Your pacifier doesn't fall, you don't lose it. Like it's really hard to lose it if it's on a huge thing like this versus that little, you know, pacifier that you're constantly losing. So uh, yeah, that's that.